Welcome back to Wood Acres. Today we're moving Mama Hens. Before we do that, we're gonna come in here and check on the new turkey flock that we just got yesterday. Hey, little peepers. Everybody still running around? Looking good. I love the assortment of colors I got this time. I ordered surplus broad-breasted turkeys from Meyer Hatchery and they sent me a good assortment. I got eight broad-breasted bronze, four white, and four black. These black ones look awesome. They have a face like Warshank. But they're doing good so far. They've only went through one water. Oh, pop. They're gonna spend some time here in the brooder box I have in the shed, so they have electric here to the heat lamp, and then I will be moving them outside onto grass. Oh, pop. But right now, all my other bird boxes are full. And this is the safest one I have for the size of birds they are. Once they get a little bit bigger, I'll bring them outside. We have a beautiful day today, and I have some beautiful new mamas we have to move. And I gotta do some gardening later. It's looking nice around here right now with the yuccas and the daylily starting to bloom. And we have some black raspberries here ripening up. I can get a couple of these just for a little bit of flavor. There's a bunch of them coming on, both plants. Ooh, all three, more. I don't get a lot yet, but it's a nice treat. Looks like the raspberries, the josta berries, and the blackberries are gonna be coming soon. Let me check and see if I have any currants that are ripe. These are one of my favorites. Now it looks like they're all still green. I'm waiting for black and red. Probably some pruning and some weeding would help. I keep an organic garden out here where I have all the food. The goji berries blooming, little bee helping out. So with all the weeds, the flowers, and the food, I think I keep it pretty diverse. I'm pop. And at least so far, I don't have a bug problem. Hey, pants. You're going to be moving first today. You ready to move on out? Your babies could use a lot more space, huh? The little red mini coop has been working great for Pants and her eight babies, but she's outgrown it now and she needs a little bit more space. And I have the bird box empty over there in the food forest. So I'm just going to take them straight over there and they're going to live in the food forest for a little while. Oh, Pants, how does that sound? You want some more space and live in the food forest? I'll take that as a yes. I actually need to get my chicken moving tote so I can load them all up at once and just carry them straight over to the bird box. And then that's going to leave this little red mini coop open. And once that's open, I can do what I really want to do and move little Row in. Come on, pup. Right now, little Row's inside the IBC tote. Hey, little Row. How you doing, girl? You taking care of your babies? You taking care of all your little babies, girl? Oh, you look so cute being a mama hen. Yes, you do. You even got Bert's baby back there? You taking care of all four? I had to give her extra babies. She only hatched out two. But then Green Queen wasn't taking care of her firstborn. She was actually hitting the egg too hard whenever it was hatching. So I pulled that egg out right away and let it hatch under Lil Row. And she adopted that one right away. You are just adorable. Look at that little face. And then the firstborn up at Bert's Love Shack wasn't getting taken care of right away. It's okay, girl. So I actually brought down Bert's firstborn from the Love Shack and gave it to Lil Ro, and she took it right in. So she has four babies under her now. And she's taking good care of them inside the IVC tote here. But ever since I've had Lil Ro, I've really wanted to see her raising up some baby chicks inside the Lil Red Mini Coop. So once I move her into the Lil Red Mini Coop, I'm going to move Green Queen into the IVC tote. Sedgwick is inside the ICU, and I'm going to keep her in here. She's doing okay. She did start with seven babies and she is down to five. I don't think anything nefarious happened. I just found them in there already passed and I think she was just scratching around in the hay and accidentally kicked them. I took a lot of the hay out so it wasn't piled up and the babies could get around a little bit better. She wasn't sitting on the eggs earlier so I'm kind of surprised that she made another nest and she's sitting on them again. I'm hoping all five babies are okay. I don't want to have to move her just to check but she's staying here today so she's not on the list for moving. What are you whining about, puppy? We got some piggies laying next to the gate. And Doughboy, Cookie, and S'more in the back. The pig pen is still in progress outside. I had to make a quick makeshift shelter here for Green Queen to make sure Muffins and Dot didn't attack her or her babies. If you missed it, Green Queen was over there in one of the recycling totes hatching out babies. And whenever I saw that, I grabbed her whole nest and all the eggs and her babies and her and moved them over in here into the knee cue ward so she had a little bit more space for them to spread out when they got out of the shell. I just did that all in one breath. Huh, Sammy. Nailed it. So now Green Queen's been hatching out babies over here and you know how Dot and Mrs. Muffins get jealous. You vicious little rat. I might have to break up your broody cycle if you keep acting like this. She's not squished in there even though it doesn't look that great, but I just had to keep her protected for the time being until I was able to get up here to move her. How you doing, Green Queen? You still have your babies in there nice and safe? I hope so. I'll be back for you. I need to make some room before I get Green Queen out. Hump up. Let's get to work. All right, Pants, your ride is here. Yeah, we're gonna be moving you and your babies to a bigger house. Oh, puppy, you gotta be calm. Birds in a box. <laughs> All right, Pants. I'm 
not gonna take you first, I'm gonna take the baby. Relax, puppy, it's just birds in a box. Okay, pants. You're heavier than last time we moved you. I'm sure it's the kids. Watch it, pup. Move it. We're here, pants. We're here, girl. You can all hop out if you'd like. Go on. Don't climb on your mama, just hop out. There you go, everybody find the edge. Jeez, you're squishing your mama, girl. There you go, pants. Everybody together? There you go, I still need this to move a little row. There you go, pants. Look at all this space and forage you have, girl. You still have four and four? Good to see, girl. You can really get a look at your colors now. You made beautiful babies, pants. Good job. I'll bring your food and water back in a little bit. To the next mama hen pup. So I'm gonna take the feeder and the water out of here and give that to Pants, because it is a bigger feeder. Back up, pup, back up. Give me some space, buddy. Here, new water I made for him. And I'm also gonna pull this onto fresh grass here before I get Lil Row over here. And just like that. We have the upstairs in here. I can give them some pine shavings. And actually, while they're still little, I'm gonna go ahead and close this off. And for the first night right now, I'm gonna keep them in the upstairs compartment. This is gonna be enough space for Lil Row and her four babies right now, and it's gonna give them the association with this compartment. So whenever I finally do let them down to the ground, they should come back up the ladder and wanna sleep in here at night. So let's go get her. Hey, Lil Row. Coming in, girl, we're gonna upgrade you. So I needed to make a quick door here to keep little Row inside, so I just used the end of a baby crib that we had lying around. I zip tied some fine mesh to it, and then I even zip tied some hinges on it so I can open and close this, and I just put a little chain here with a loop to a screw, and that is closing it. So it's holding little Row in here and her little baby safe. But now we're gonna be moving you out, little Row, to the little red mini coop where you didn't wanna go before whenever you were broody and moody. Hopefully you're gonna like it now in this stage of your motherhood. And then I can move Green Queen into here where she can be safe with her babies. What are you doing? What are you doing? Why'd you move your feeder all the way over there? You're getting big, piggies. And yes, I'm still working on this out here. It just needs to be really solid before I bring out the pigs. Whoa, little Ro, I left the door open. Let's work on you. Let's try and stay focused here. All right, little Ro, I know you're gonna be a little upset to start with, but this is gonna be a good thing, girl. You've been a good mama. You've been a really good mama. And you're gonna get them all back. It's okay. Oh, you're quick. You are quick. Buddy, pup, buddy, buddy. Okay, girl, you're gonna get them all back. 
Oh, this one's Bart's boy. A girl, I hope it's a girl. Oh, this is the one Green Queen had. It's smaller. Okay, girl, I know, I know, you're getting upset. Oh, you pop, don't make them jump. It's okay, girl, you're getting them all back. All right, your turn, little row. Oh, you're so cute. Ow, that was actually a pretty good pinch, girl. You're safe, girl. You keeping an eye on them, pup? All right, let's get them home. Let's get them home. Okay, here you are, little row. Now we just gotta do it all over again, get you inside. Okay, girl, we'll make this as easy as possible. Little one. Put you all the way in the back so maybe you won't run out. Little one. With your friend. Little ones, two at a time. Make this, whoa, whoa, Bert's baby is quick. You stay in there, big fella. Okay, you little row. There's your babies. There's your babies. Let's get their food and water, pup. I hear you, Star. Hey, Mumbles, how you doing? You getting it, pup? What are you doing in there? Oh, there's no eggs for you to take care of. What are you, puppy? That is for chickens. That was made for chickens. Put their food and water here. How you doing, Sedgwick? I see three babies. Hopefully you're sitting on the other two. Oh, little Row. Why'd you jump down already? Why are you down here? I was just coming back with your feed and water, girl. Why are you on the ground? Rip, rip. Little Row, what is your problem with this little coop? Why do you not want to live here? Little Row, why do you not want to live in this coop? Come here. Come here. You were fine when I moved you into the tote. What's the problem? Stay with your babies. You have food, water, scratch grain, treats. Stay with your babies. You got everything you need in there, girl. Stay with your babies. All right, hopefully she'll stay in there tonight. Right, pup? I'm gonna get Pants' feed and water all freshened up here. Gonna come down here to the pond and get some water. Huh, pup? All right, Pants, I'm back. Got you and your baby some water here. Trying to find a nice level spot for it. That'll have to do. And I'll give you your feedback. I don't have a chain in here anymore, so it's just going on the ground. Ooh, you guys were hungry, huh? There you go. Get your security light back up in place. You're set. Hope you enjoy all the extra space pants. All right, puppy. Now, what is the problem with little Row? Why won't she stay where she's supposed to stay? Do you not hear your babies crying for you, girl? Why are you down here again? Not a bad mom. Stop acting like it. You're not bad. Hey, hey. Hey, we're trying to help you. We're trying to help you out. Hey, 
inside. I know this top opening is the issue. Stay in there, girl. That's where your babies are. That's where your feet is. You don't need to come out here right now. I know it's been a little bit of time since she's been out foraging on grass, but she still has responsibilities. Now I gotta get Green Queen safe. It's okay, ducks. I just wanna eat dinner too. All right, ladies, you gotta get out of there. I need to get Green Queen safe. Hey, come on, Bon Bon. Come on, Bonnie. Oh, that's big Bonnie, come on out. No, just come on out. I don't wanna have to crawl in there. You with the feathers in the comb, come on out. All right, I'll pop. All right, Green Queen, it's your turn, girl. You still safe in there? Ugh. How's the babies? Oh, you have babies poking all out of you. I see at least three. Let me get this contraption off of you. Oh, Sammy, you helping out another new mom? Good boy. All your babies safe, girl? I'm gonna try and block off Mrs. Muffins and Dot down there, because if the babies start peeping, I don't want them running out after them. Oh, Green Queen, can we make this easy? It looks like we gotta take a nest with you, girl, huh? You don't just have babies, you're still sitting on eggs, too. She might put up a little bit of a fight. She's pretty mild-mannered, but she still wants to protect her babies. All right, I think I probably have to pick you up first, Green Queen, because I don't even know where all the babies are. I'm gonna try and gently pick you up, make sure no babies are attached. Kind of come underneath her wings here so they all fall out. Grab around the legs a little bit. Okay, there's a mama. There's a mama. Oh. We have one baby. Two babies, you're so plump. Ooh, three babies, another beautiful brown. Four babies, you're white, you got some white in you. And five, baby. Look at you. You're plump, too. Eating well. Okay, Green Queen. Take all your eggs with you. I don't see any pipping right now, so that's good. Hate to move her while she was hatching. Alright, you got four nice babies? Or did you have five? You had five nice babies, huh? Okay, let's get you to your new home, girl. Beep, beep, rev, rev, rev. Oh. Easy now. I got you, girl. You're not going far. Beep, beep, Bonnie. Hold on, Echo Pup. into the nest yes right into the eggs you knew what to do good job yeah get them all organized I'll get your feed and water we did it pop we did it oh good job I left the gate open and Sammy stayed inside why you're still in the baby feed you can eat big boy feed buddy I'm gonna need this Thank you. Beep beep, scoot scoot. What are you ladies doing? You checking out the new babies? Huh, Rosie? Spot? You want to make babies too? Oh, you look so good, Green Queen. Being a mama works for you, girl. Here's some feed, and I'll get you a water set up. I gotta find some type of dish for you. 
All my mason jar waters are taken. Good, she's all set up and safe now. Huh, Pop? Sedgwig, you got all your babies safe? I would like to see all five. That's so cute. A little beak could just pop out anywhere on those feathers. I'll check back. Let's go see what Snowball's doing. Hey, goats. What are you guys doing back here? Hanging out with the chickens? Just chewing your cud. Look at you just chewing your cud. <laughs> you trying to get it down. I didn't bring you a treat. You don't have to swallow your cud so quick. Silly goats. Eat some of that grass. How you doing, big boys? Yeah, you wanna make some noise? Look how big you are. Don't try and give me that strut. That was an attack strut. I'm watching you two. Bert, you taking care of your girls, bud? You got one making babies in here. See how she's doing. She did have a mishap the other day and squished one. So hopefully the one she has is still good. And I'm really hoping she made another. Well, she made something large, but that's not a baby. I'll get that cleaned out of here, girl. What are you doing? What else are you doing in here? Just feet? Oh, you're squishing and you squished another baby, girl. Girl, I'm not sure you're meant to be a mom. You don't know what's underneath you. Ugh. Ugh. That's straight poop right there, puppy. That was barehanded poop. Go ahead and wash that off. I hear you, Star. So what's going on, girl? Was that your one baby that was alive? You lost the one that you did have, girl. You're not doing too well over here, girl. Sorry about that, girl. You're set up to succeed here, but you just have to do your part. You gotta leave space for the babies under you, girl. That's sad. Huh, Pop? No, you don't need it. Echo Pup's really not into eating birds, so he doesn't get these. And I know it's a part of homesteading that a lot of people don't like, but the piggies get the ones that don't make it. All right, Sedgwick, I just need you to stand up real quick so I can make sure all five are okay, girl. Yeah, I know, I know. Just stand up real quick. How many you got under you? One, two, three. I see three. Is there any more? I'm not trying to bother you. Oh, four. I see four, but I really want to see more. Come on, girl. You have another? Can't really reach under you, girl. I can't get in that far. Do you have another baby? There it is. Five little babies for Sedgwig. And she's trying to hatch out those three eggs, but I don't think they're viable anymore. All right, keep them babies safe. Bon Bon, you don't need to go in there. Oh, Pop. All right, that's gonna be all for this one. I did have to move these mama hens. My main goal was to get Green Queen safe and give Pants' babies a little bit more space. And I also wanted to get Lil Ro into her little red mini coop. So hopefully she can stay in that top and take care of the babies. But if you wanna keep following along with everything here at Wood Acres, make sure to subscribe down below. Hit that like button before you leave and you can see me and Echo on the next one. Thanks for watching. She's inside for now.